We need to help ourselves before we can truly help another person. It's frustrating and sad to see people be like, oh, this is not that serious. I'm like, oh, I'm taking care of people that it's very serious for. So like, so it's, it's both for me. Like I understand the frustration, but then it's also frustrating because it's like, we're not, we're not trying to mislead people. We're just trying to provide the best health care for people. I just had this impending doom. I just need to be done with this so that everybody else doesn't have to worry about me anymore. There's some glamorized version of what being a doctor is about. Do No Harm exposes a hidden epidemic in healthcare, which is physician suicide and burnout, which is really a taboo topic. And the epidemic has a very strong link to the high rate of medical errors. So when you go into a hospital, you just assume that everything is great, the doctors are at their best, everyone is doing their job. But what you don't know is how sleep deprived they are. And as a result of that sleep deprecation, the deprivation they are committing errors that you never know about. They were very afraid to talk to me. It was almost impossible. I mean, I must have spoken to dozens, dozens, maybe hundreds, at least over 150 young doctors, middle-aged doctors who feel like their well-being and that of their patients is in jeopardy. And they were afraid to talk about it because they could easily lose their job. It's always been an issue with physicians to even seek care because of fear of having licensure or credentialing impact by getting mental health care. It worries me because now people are gonna retreat more into themselves because they, they don't feel like they could reach out in their time of need and really not know where to go. The doctors are supposed to show no weakness. I've read articles like either by anonymous people or just people that you can't, you don't have anything other than uh, like written words. So like for me, it's like putting a voice and a face behind that. I think it's important to start looking at resources that you may not need right now, but maybe in the future, certain circumstances will come up and whether it's uh, personal or professional, like it's always nice to know where you can turn to and seek help.